Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. So I woke up in the morning one day and I said, you know what? Today's a beautiful day. We're going to cook on a grill. So I said to my wife, hey, let's cook on a grill today. Kids love when we cook on a grill. And I get down. I make burgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, whatever you name it, I could do it. And I'm probably one of the best at it. But earlier in the week, I had said, God, I was dealing with something. And I said, God, I need more patience. And I guess he sat back and said, I got you, Gabe. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. And I guess he said, I'm going to give you more patience. But you got to be careful what you ask God for because you just might get it. And if you get it, it's usually not going to come the way you expect it to come from my experience. So I wanted to cook on a grill, but I guess somebody else had that in mind as well. Go in the backyard, about to get the grill started, but my grill wasn't there. I come in the house and say, yo, somebody took the grill. It's not back there. My wife goes back there. She's like, yo, the grill's gone. Who took the grill? I said, I don't know. I was asleep. I don't know who took the grill. But the person who took the grill knew who took the grill. So I had to change our plans. I said, come on, we got to go to the store. We got to get some stuff. We were just going to cook in the house. So on our way to the store, there's a park by my house. And I see the neighbors were out there. So I look and I said, oh, the neighbors are out there. They look like they're having a good time. I took a second look. I'm like, hold up. I said, yo, babe, that's our grill. You see, I got a different grill. My grill's a different color. I got a red grill. There's not that many red grills out here. So I'm like, yo, that's our grill. So I whip that car around, come back, because I needed a second look. I just didn't want to accuse somebody of something, especially my neighbors. We know each other. Our kids play together. So I didn't want to accuse them. So I had to get a second look. So I'm looking. Yeah, babe, that's our grill. I know my grill. I know my grill. I said, yo, that's our grill. So I was faced with two options. I could have went into the park, put on a scene, flipped down on them like, yo, what's wrong with you, man? You gonna steal my grill? You gonna take my grill? You could have knocked on the door and said, hey, Gabe, could I use your grill? And I would have been like, yeah, yeah, you could use my grill. <laughs> you know, but he didn't do that. And then my other option, I could say, hey, they look like they're enjoying themselves. Let them enjoy themselves, and I'll deal with it later. So I went with the latter. I let them enjoy themselves. Went to the store, drove back by the park after we left the store, and they're still out there eating cheeseburgers, hot dogs. Ooh, I was a little upset, but I did remember I said I need patience. So we get back to the house, cook dinner in the house, watch the movie, it's nighttime. I said, you know what? I'm going to go in the backyard and I'm going to check and see if they put the grill back. So I go in the backyard, check to see if they put the grill back because their car was back at their house because I passed by their house. You know, this was later on. So I go in the backyard and I look at my, like, my grill's not back there. It's not back there. And I'm furious. And I said, man, I should go bang on that door and say, yo, I know I see you with my grill. But that wouldn't have been the right thing to do, regardless of what they did to me, regardless of that they took it without asking. It's a grill. It's mine, but it's a grill. And I knew what they did. Sometimes when people show you who they are, you got to believe them. So I said, all right, man, I'm going to go to bed. Go to bed, wake up in the morning, going for a jog in the morning. I said, you know what? I'm going to go in the backyard and I'm going to check to see if the grill's back there. I go in the backyard, check. The grill's back there. I'm happy now. I'm like, all right, they brought the grill back. Open the grill up. I have a charcoal grill. I like charcoal grills. There's charcoal all in the grill. Ashes in the grill, burnt cheese in the grill. They looked like they had a good time. I could tell by the grill. And I'm like, man, I should bang on that door and just really give them a piece of my mind. I said, no, no, I asked for patience. I asked for patience. So I said, you know what? I ain't gonna say nothing. To this day, I still never said anything, but I learned a lesson. You gotta have patience. I wanted my grill when I wanted my grill and it wasn't there. But God put it in their heart to bring the grill back. They brought it back. So I'm, I'm happy they brought the grill back. And they did look like they enjoyed their time. I got my grill back. Moral of the story is, I don't need no more patience. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. But it might come a different way. <laughs> I don't need patience. I think I got enough.